Alright, hello! Welcome back to Spyro 3 and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I Welcome got Welcome back to Spyro 3 and Knuckles. Indeed. So, let's just go to this Desert Ruins, I guess, since it's right here. Approaching the end game. <clears throat> yeah, got like a few levels left and like the final boss and all that. Uh, we'll try and get what we do what we can today, but it's really late for me, and I'm hello. like, you must be Spyro. A lot of people honestly, kind of tired. So I don't think we're going to be doing too much today, but we'll get a little bit done. Tara. She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, and I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but you know, there's all these scorpions and stuff. Indeed. Are those the same creatures from Glimmer? Uh, yeah, it's like similar, very similar design. But, um, I don't know. I think I think the the this is a cool level. It has some uh, challenging enemies. Um, you have to with these like crab guys. I recommend um. Oh, the scorpions, Harry. Yeah, scorpion. <laughs> With the scorpions. Um, yeah, you have to be careful when you approach them because they send like a um, bunch of fire in front of them. So you kind of to kind of want to like jump towards them. And then there's this guy who's um, basically like those um, like. Oh, uh, you remember those guys in Spyro 1 that, like, like kind of electrify part of the floor? It's basically like that, except it's fire. So you want to be careful about that. Other than that, uh, some good platforming here. There's, a sh there's like, one more sh Sheila section, and, um... Uh, shouldn't there have been a gem that came out of that one? Um, yeah, I didn't see any. That's odd. I don't know. And, yeah, okay. Uh. Okay, so, slay. <laughs> Sorry, a lot of sound effect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Other than that, not, not much else to say, I guess. Uh, but it's a, it's a fine level. Pretty uh, decently challenging for this point in the game. Yeah. Toasty. Yep. The best Spyro one boss. Oh, um... Do you know, uh, someone's shown off, like, the menu for Spyro 1 in Reignited, and apparently they've added skill points to that game. That's... I didn't know that. It's kind of terrifying. <laughs> and I think, um... Um, was it some of the skill points they added were do the do the bosses in uh, without getting hurt? I don't know if that means the entire level or just the boss itself, but I hope it just means the boss. Yeah, because if it's the whole level, that's actually um, a lot more difficult than um, it sounds. Yeah, the levels are harder than some of the bosses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, it's going to be interesting to see, like, what, um, the skill points mean, though, because with, uh, 2 and 3, like, uh, I have this stuff all in, like, just memorized, but, I don't know, Spyro 1 could be literally anything, and I'm kind of, kind of scared. Andy Gavin has joined the battle. Indeed. Oh, yeah, um... I finally have seen more of the baby dragons and reignited and they're kind of ugly. Oh. <laughs> I saw like a glimpse of like one of them, I think. 
think it was Vanessa. I've seen two at least. But those two are ugly. Oh man. Yeah, so I believe this is Sheila's last section in this like a 2D platformer. And uh, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like uh, Sheila just controls a bit better here than she does normally. At least, mainly for the uh, when it comes to the jumps, because it feels like she's she goes a bit further than she usually does. I might be just I, thinking things, but I think this mission is called Crash Kangaroo. I wonder where they got that from. Yeah, because uh, you know it's like. Um, was it? Uh, Crash is like, has more of a 2D platformer uh, mentality, so, yeah. Hey, it's Lester! Yeah. Again, that's gonna look very... I can you get I can look very ugly and reignite. Uh, I I like most of the new designs they've done for the characters in the game. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sorry. When I meant ugly, I meant like brutal. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure how they're gonna do that. Yeah. Uh. Like I I really do like how um, the Sparrow One Dragons all look different now, like they have like some kind of motif going on, uh, going with like each individual one, um, like the um, what the dragon you save I think in Toasty's level is like a painter, um, and the art he's an artisan, yeah, yeah, and I, I like how like every um, every dragon has like a unique design, whereas like in Sparrow 1, like. OG Spyro one, like they were all pretty well, just Spyro, kind of no, not necessarily generic, but like every every dragon in a specific home world um, or home area uh, has the same general design. Um, so very well then. The password to open the tomb is. Are you ready? <laughs> Gullible. What a jerk! <laughs> and his design, and his design of reignited completely matches his personality. Yeah, because you like that. That is like the like the best example of he's he's just blocking the door uh, to troll you. Because yeah, that's like that's the most obvious time that happens. Right, I jumped too early. I think when you kill those enemies, the 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 uh, fire floor or whatever, like the burning floor, just deactivates its hitbox. That's nice. I could be wrong about that, but that's what it seems to do. Oh my goodness! Obvious uh, Lara C uh, Croft reference. What has science done? Yeah. <laughs> and let me just grab these gems first. Well, well, look at you. Showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the work. I spent all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Well, might as well have it. Only turned out to be a lousy egg anyway. And notice how she's just using uh, Bianca's uh, animations. Party. Yeah. And off she goes. Uh. Oh, okay. I didn't think I didn't expect it to do the same ladder twice. Run! Ah! Ooh. Okay.
No, I don't have sparks to do treasure finder for me. Okay, I don't remember what this is. Oh no! I, uh. Okay, no, I remember this. Uh, I don't usually. I usually don't expect water to level water sections in tomb levels. Yeah. Well, this tomb waiter and crash three. <laughs> I kind of wish uh, we got like uh, uh, another level like Tomb Raider. Is this the only? Hmm. Now that I think about it, it's like probably isn't it like the only level in Crash that like that's like that? With like a water draining mechanic, yes. Yeah. Cause this. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I don't know, I like that. It's a nice change of pace for a platformer. It's a pain in the butt for two for tri time trials though. Oh yeah, I tried that ag again recently. Um, and I I just kept on dying and dying. Like, I... I... I kind of underestimate how uh, tough getting the relics are sometimes, because, like... Like, I even, like, as a, um, as someone who's just played, cra uh, the Crash games, like, free especially, like, uh, um, like, more times than I can count, like, I kind of underestimate how tough some of the, some of the things can be sometimes. Like, when I, especially when I think about, like, uh, when you play the game as, like, a newcomer, like, um, okay, seriously. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Like, um, I think, um, trying to get the relics, um, in, um, was it, the race, some of the racing stages, like, Arabian and, like, uh, the, um, the Great, uh, the, uh, Great Wall of China levels can be tough if you're not used to really fast reactions and uh, I don't know like, it's not too bad if you just want to get the sapphire relics but um, if you want to go for like the secret cocoa gem you'll um, you, you might uh, have a rough time uh, with some of the levels I don't know do, do you other when you play Crash 3, do you usually go for, like, uh, all the relics? Sapphire. Sapphire. Oh, you just, oh, you just go Sapphire? Yeah, that's fine. I yeah. briefly considered going for gold, but no. It's harder than it sounds. <laughs> nice shooting, like, I can only... I... Like it's... I can get most... Oh, I didn't mean to skip that, um, but... I didn't get the majority of the golds um, okay uh, nowadays, but um, like I I didn't start getting like all the golds until like uh, twenty fourteen maybe I don't know uh, pretty recent, um, and I really wished I was fodder around here. <laughs> Hmm. I don't have to get these guys like uh Oh no, what I can do. Um there's actually a skill point similar to Aquaria Towers, I believe. Where you can um get to blow up all the seaweed. And it gets you a skill point. So I'm just gonna do that to get sparks back. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh, speaking of Crash, I, I also tried uh, replaying uh, Future Tense um, like a couple of weeks ago, I think, and yeah, it's still hard. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine doing that without power ups because you can access the level like when you boot the game up. Yeah, right, we're good. Uh, you can just. Oh. I think you just have to go here. Yeah. You can... 
Okay, now we're just gonna go around. Hmm. I don't know, I got... There's... There's not much I can say about... Uh, not much left I can say about uh, this game or, like, Sparrow at this point. <laughs> uh... Like, uh, I guess, um... Have, have we, like, have we, like, talked about how, what we think about, like, the side characters just being a thing, just by concept? Um, I think we touched upon it. Uh, this is, well, this is, like, the, when, these are, like, the last, uh, couple of times we're gonna see them, so... Yeah, we had a nice, long conversation about Agent 9. Yeah. As a concept, I I don't mind uh, side characters, um, and I think I think they do a decent enough job in this game, uh, for the most part. Okay, we got all of them. Uh, we did. Yeah, Sparks ain't wait. Yeah, Sparks ain't moving anywhere. Uh, there's like a few exceptions with like some really bad, a couple really bad areas, um, but I think they did a pretty good job overall. And I mean, I'm usually pretty open to uh, multiple game, uh, multiple gameplay styles because there's a there's um there's a reason why I enjoy most of the 3D Sonic games, for starters, and, uh, as long as they're fun and polished in their own right, I usually enjoy them, um, but yeah. I oh, know, what, what, what do you general, where, where do you generally stand when it comes to, we didn't even get the key. Uh, and I don't remember where that is. The Google! Uh, while you're doing that, uh, what's your general, like, consensus on, like, just gameplay styles? They like, need to... They're rarely ever as polished, as well polished as the main portion of the game. Mm. In the that case of true. a game like this, which was definitely rushed, it kind of shows. Yeah. I think it's also the fact that we've already had, like, uh, two other Spyro games before this. It's the- you kind of already know what to expect from Spyro himself, so... Uh... What about, like, something like, uh... What was it? Uh, Crash 3, I guess. Like, it has, like, multiple different styles of gameplay. With, like, the vehicles. I like some vehicles more than others. Yeah. Oh, I didn't go here at all. Alright. What about, like, uh, the 3D Sonic stuff? Like, uh, mainly in regards to, like, SA1, SA2, because that's when they go. That, that's the main. Uh, the the games that where they really went crazy with different gameplay styles. I've only played SA2 somewhat extensively. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, we found the key. We're good. We just. <laughs> I was Dang never it. all that fond of. I, I don't know. Kind of always thought the mech levels were kind of clunky. Hmm. That's fair. No way. Did I? Yeah, mech levels are alright, I just... I always, I think, my brother and I always preferred just the speed levels. Yeah. And no, no, we'll never be all that fond of the treasure hunting levels in the SA2. I will say, like, as much as I do, uh, I will defend, um, the other playstyles in the game. Um, they're not exactly, um, beginner-friendly. <laughs> Because uh, 
Um, the treasure hunting sp uh, stages especially um, require a lot of like memorization and just knowing the level layout and stuff, which is... And it, just like all the different intricacies of like the level and all that, which is... Like, it's enjoyable and like fun to just figure out what the hints are, t where are telling you to go, but when you're not as familiar, um, it's going to be a lot trickier to find what you need. But, you know. Yay! This level. Yay. <clears throat> it's kind of weird they have two desert levels that kind of just right next to each other. Yeah. And then they have Dynamite, which is also in a desert. <laughs> that is true. I didn't even I didn't even realize that this uh, homeworld has so many desert levels. Man, it's like how uh, like Crash Free has like f four Egyptian levels. At least those are spread out for the most part. Yeah, they're spread out, but yeah. I feel I feel like uh, Crush Free could have gone, uh, could have toned a couple level themes down a little bit so others could get more spotlight. <coughs> Motorcycle. <laughs> Sorry. Have a head cold. They, 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 they could have um, they they could have uh, cut out like um one at least one motorcycle and one jet ski level and then given us uh another well i mean we have another future level now but like we could have gotten another great rule of china level and then and um maybe but i'm kind of glad the tiger levels in our state are welcome i mean i guess but it they they happen so fast like you have one at the start of the game and you have one in the second warp room and it just I don't know, it just... In uh, Crash 2, they spread them out a little bit um, better, like, because... They have the first one in the second warp room, and I think the second is in the third warp room, and you have the... Bang! Yeah. And you have the secret warp room one as well, which I forget where it is, but... I don't know. Also... This is the most random skill point ever. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'm trying to just remember how, uh, this level and all that. Are they... What are those supposed to be? Like weird golem things. Yeah, this is a kind of a... A weird level like you have to um like get the get the uh, weird these weird ball uh bomb things and uh just use it to blow those guys up we're seeing a lot more purple gems in these levels yeah. Yeah, some of these just don't give us gems because this is just how they res respawn constantly. Yeah. Well, you got hit. How did you get? How are you back to gold? Oh, that's um. That's because um, uh, the third Sparks level gives us a, uh, a, a another, another hit uh, hit point, uh, but they don't really tell you uh, like signify this story well because they they just make um, Sparks gold twice. Yeah, now he's blue. Um, so you can't. Oh, yeah, I forgot that man like spark more sparkly when he's at full health now. Yeah. But it's, uh, Season of Flame arguably did it better, they just had him, they kept regular gold as the maximum, but they gave him a lower level than green. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they made him red. Sense. They made him red for his final, final form. Yeah. 
Like, yeah, I can see the sparkles. Yeah, it's it's something you really you have to kind of look at, look for though. Like, it's kind of hard to uh, like just notice. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and get some bombs. Since we've been talking about like Crash so much, uh, would you? What are some of your like favorite uh, level themes? In, in Warped, um, honestly, um, I don't know. I'm really nostalgic for like the first five level themes that were introduced in the first Warp Room. Yeah. So even if there's only two actual regular on foot levels in that Warp yeah. Room, there. They get the they kind of they basically just give you a nice run through of most of the level types you encounter in the game. Yeah, and I mean, I th I think yeah the first warp room is a I think does a good job of trying to introduce the game and uh, I mean a water level isn't too different from like a a platforming level in the sense that it's just. It's the same general idea of like uh, trying to avoid obstacles and stuff, um, just in a different type of way. And with the uh, the tiger level, we've already seen those kinds of levels in the, the previous games, so um, you kind of know what to expect with that. Um, and I really the the jet ski is like. The like the one curveball that you don't really expect. Even yeah, that's true. But even then, there were levels in Crash Two that you had you doing, not using a jet ski, but you were using that jet. That's board. true. That's true. Because um, w when you really think about it, like uh, most of the um the playstyles um are based off things you we've seen before in Crash. Um, like, the tiger is obvious, um, the, the motorcycle uh, is basically a extension of the animal riding levels, it's, uh, just the goal is different, like, instead of, like, avoiding obstacles, it, the goal is to, uh, race other, um, race the enemies or whatever, um, the closest, um, Comparison I can give the uh, the plane levels is the uh, the jetpack, but even then that's uh, kind of far fetched. And then there's the, the uh, jet ski, which is based on the uh, waterboard in Crash Two. Um, I don't remember it. Are there any uh, other playstyles we're not remembering? Um. I'm sure we are, but actually no. I'm thinking on foot, swimming, animal riding, motorcycle, jet ski, plane, and chase levels. Mm. Yeah, chase levels from in uh, what's the first one called Boneyard. That's that's a crash staple. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because um, Crash One and Two um, are basically nothing but it's basically. A chase level and nothing but a chase level, uh, minus like one secret path in Unbearable. Um, and then Crash 3, it kind of, it's like a chase level inside of a regular level, which is kind of interesting. I don't know, what do you think about that? I prefer that for the most part, it's less stressful. Yeah. Gives a little more variety, and it reminds me of that level, that one level in Rapid Cortex where you have to get in the Jeep, which I don't think controlled that well from what I can remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a... Thinking about it, like, there were a lot of chasing chase stages in Crash 4. Um, they follow, like, a similar design of uh, Boneyard, where it's like, there's a chase sequence, or sequences, uh, but it's not, like, the main part of the level. But there were so many, so many part, um, levels in like that in the game. Um, like there's at least two 
two level, two Coco levels have that. Um, there's one where you ride a jeep with a crash. Uh, there's the, uh, the, uh, what was it? Wizards and Lizards has the dragon. And like, yeah, that's like already like five levels. <laughs> and there's also, um, the uh, exploding, just the explosion you have to run away from. <laughs> uh, I never really thought about that until now, how many sections like that were in the game. Yeah, I think Catacris pointed out in his review, levels don't really stay stable for any long periods of time. <sighs> That is correct. Good luck in the demolition hovercraft competition. Hmm. This is actually pretty difficult. So I'm gonna have to try and focus. I think there's two rounds for this. The second the first round isn't the worst thing in the world, but you just best advice I can give you is just kinda strafe around everywhere and just kinda Keep on shooting in their general direction, and uh, this does not bode well right now. Well, well, that was a fierce battle indeed. Please accept this prize for winning the first round. Hmm. MJ. Oh man, that's actually. I. You may now enter the I don't know how excited you are for Spider Man, but, um, like. I, I'm actually, like, really excited to play that. Um, because I, I. It's, it's always been one, uh, one of those games that I've been looking forward to, but the general hype hasn't really settled down with me until really recently, when it's just like. It's, I'm finally gonna be able to play. Um, a sandbox Spider-Man game that's hopefully gonna be um, as enjoyable and uh, stuffed with content as uh, the Spider-Man 2 game on uh, like 6th gen consoles. Because uh, oh, I thought you were talking about Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. That one's fine, but uh, no. And okay, no, th this this is fine. Um, because it just makes us go to the second round. And we get full sparks back. The full sparks are just like generic full sparks. I don't know. I guess we'll find out if we get hurt. Like, I think it's oh. just there we go. Yeah. That sucks. Uh but I've I know I there's there's a lot I don't know about the the PS4 game, like I I, I've seen like I obviously seen like the E3 trailers and like some gameplay tidbits and stuff like that, but there's a lot I don't know about the game and it's kind of exciting because just seeing how uh, this might take a bit, <laughs> but seeing is how open the game is and the I'm how much content I'm assuming there will be um, like. I'm just excited to just swing around New York again, because it's... Uh, and, I don't know, uh, I, I, enjoy, I, I enjoyed the uh, more linear Spider-Man games, like Chad Dimensions and all that, but they don't have the same excitement factor that like the, the open, like Spider-Man 2 does, just for the fact that you're just swing around New York at your to your heart's content and just yeah I, I don't brother, know my brother loves Web of Shadows hmm? my brother loves Web of Shadows Web of Shadows is good I enjoyed that one like I I I, in, I enjoy Spider-Man uh, Spider-Man 2 more still like that's my favorite Spider-Man game but the uh, thing with like Web of Shadows for me uh, is that 
uh, is that the if it, it feels like the, the the map is like really large with not a lot of things to do in it, and sometimes it's just hard to find your the it, it's I don't know if it's just me being a, a derp, but it's kind of hard to find your objective sometimes, or at, le at least the side ones, like the, um, oh dang it, uh, the ones where it's like, fight, uh, ten of these types of enemies, and like, I just, even when I look at the map and stuff, like, I just can't find them for ages, and, I don't know, that, it kind of puts me off in the game a little bit. But I do, I did like the combat a lot, like, it did, uh, have an interesting idea with the whole, like, black suit and all that. I don't know, what, what's your experience with, like, just Spider-Man games since we're on this? None. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't play. I like Spider-Man, never really played this game for some reason. He has a consistently good uh, track record when it- whoa. Alright. Uh, when it comes to uh, his games, um, start starting with the PS PS One game anyway. Everything before that is uh, best left ignored. But I think yeah, he has. I mean, to... hmm? I mean, do you have to ignore the Marvel vs. Capcom games too? <laughs> uh, well, I mean that that's. I I'm not sure if I'd even count that. <laughs> but. That uh, was it. And I think most of, most of the, Sp the Spider-Man games I have played are uh, fun. There's a, there's probably a lot I haven't played, but and I don't really. Okay, good. I don't really care enough to play the Spider-Man Free Movie game, to be honest. And I didn't play him. I didn't play Amazing Spider-Man One or Two either. My brother played the first one. I think it was all right. Mm. It looks, they look passable, but uh, yeah, I don't know. You said you were gonna get the PS4 game, right? Or your brother will? Oh, okay. Now I'm looking forward to it. It's like. I need a new game uh, to keep me occupied before Smash comes out. And since uh, Spyro is being like is coming out in November now, um, like Spidey is like all I have <laughs> for like a while. I mean, there might be games. <laughs> Thankfully, this isn't as uh, difficult as the. Uh, Slide in the other level. That's a very unusual way to spell Malcolm. Yeah. But. Oh, what was I saying? Um. You want a new game to play before Ultimate? Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, um. I. Th there's probably games that I can't remember off the top of my head, but at the moment, um. Spider-Man, um, is like the only, the only game that's coming out in like the next, like, week and, uh, until like, Spyro, that, um, that I know of that I'm gonna be getting. Like, oh, you're not interested in Soul Calibur 6? Oh, uh, I keep forgetting that even, that's a thing. Um, that's PS4 and Xbox One, right? Yes. Um, and that's like... October? Yes. Okay. Hmm. How, how's the game look? Like a Soul Calibur game, for better or worse. <laughs> I, I know like, barely anything about Soul Calibur. I think I've seen a bit of the one with Link in it. That's the one the most people technically played. Yeah. Now, see, I'll, I'll try and look into that then. Um, buy a game like every um, 
every month for the next like few like three months or four months. And now comes Monkey Deadpool's worst mission. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, yeah, because they're cheap. That I cannot let you through this first door unless you are able to solve my riddle. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go. But the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. My, my. You're quite clever for someone with so little fashion sense. You may proceed to the first trial. <laughs> Uh, this is, um, basically just an enemy gauntlet, uh, more or less. I kind of just shoot everywhere and have the lasers ricochet. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's not much to say about this, to be honest. There's a skill point you can gain from this, can't you? I don't think there are, I don't think there is. Could be wrong. I like how the other enemies are just waiting in the next room for you. Yeah. Oopsie. You probably, yeah, you probably just shoot the fire before you leave. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what were we talking about? Because we just got we got sidetracked a little bit. A tale of soul and sword eternally retold. Uh, soul Calibur. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. I like how uh, Agent Nine's blast can just destroy those. Like it doesn't feel like it should do that, but. <laughs> Uh Why just look this look you're making this look easier than it was for me. Uh I, I don't know, I I get I think I remember having some issues on this on my um the first time I played this game, but I kinda just shoot around like a maniac and um most of the time it works out and I kinda just move around. Um, and just don't stay near them for too long. And, uh, yeah, th this last section can be kind of messy, though. Especially with these guys. Is that it basically... You pick those the bombs up, and it works the same way as the bombs did in the Agent Nine, uh, Agent Nine slab. Um, so, right, seriously. What kind of snake sound effects are these? I have no idea. Like brah. <laughs> kind of running low on health though. Right, just these guys. Oh, come, come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, go a little bit hurry at the end, but we're good. Um, I hear, like, uh, Sp uh, Spider-Man has, um, I say, the, ma the story is around uh, 20 hours long, which is, I think is uh, reasonable. For a game like that, like considering how much stuff there's going to be to do in the the overworld or whatever you want to call it, um, it's pretty decent, I guess. 
I mean, considering the fact that most of the time I'm just going to ignore the main plot anyway. A golden treasure is hid. What am I? Oh, I like how there's a bandicoot on that, by the way. Have you heard that one before? I never thought you'd get it. Very well. A bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorceress. Why, thank you for giving me a thing I needed to get anyways. Yeah. I've waited 7,000 years for someone to solve that riddle. Now, Good lord. I can finally head off to seashell shore to bury some bones. I'm riding moon else the very off that they are dogs still. Yeah. Alright, we need to uh, go back and grab a bomb. There we go. Hmm. All right, time to die. Jeez. <laughs> nice. Ah. <sighs> 